Hello everyone. This video is being made for those that need to sign into my math test that did not were not provided with the code. So the first thing you need to do to do is go to my math test dot com and press enter. Now once you get to this page here, you have to click on student. Okay, now once you click on student, you will arrive at this page here and you will click on OK, register now. Now it says register for my math test. Do you have an access code? The answer is yes. Then you will click on next. Now this agreement will come up on the screen and you will click I accept. Now it says, do you have a Pearson education account? You will say no. And then you will create a login name, a password, and then retype your password. Now remember, now I would say this, as far as a login name, I always suggest that you use your email address. And I'm saying the email address that you actually use. And then as far as your password is concerned, your password must be at least eight characters. It has to include one number and one letter. So you could do any combination. You could do seven letters, one number. You could do seven numbers, one letter. Or you could do a variety of each. But make sure it's something that you remember. Now for your access code. Your access code is on your syllabus where it says my math test student access code. Now for this semester only, which is the fall 2014 semester, this is the access code. So if you're in the fall 2014 semester, you could copy this down and type and type it into your screen. Okay, now, and it also must be in all caps. Okay, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create uh, an account myself. So let me do that now. Okay, now after typing all of this in, I will click next. And then the next thing that will come up is this personal information where you need to type in your first name, last name, and your email address for your personal information. Now, you will type in your first and last name and the email address that you actually use. select your country which should be the United States and then your school zip code is 49201 and the school is Jackson here it has Jackson Community College and it says here if you contact us we will ask a question to confirm your identity um, could what town was I born in I'll just put I'm just going to put Michigan since that's the state I was born in. Now, if you click this box here, you'll get a lot of spam in your email, which you don't want. So you'll click next. Now, you will have all of your account name and everything like that here. And you will click on log in now. But before you click on that, you may want to print this page to have everything readily available to you. So we'll click log in now. And then you will come back to this screen here. You will click sign in. And then you will put in your username and password. And click sign in. Now you will click on enter my math test. And then now, once you click on enter my math test, it'll say enter your program ID provided by your instructor. Now, 
on your syllabus. Now, this is a different class. You may not be in this class for the fall 2014 semester, but your instructor will have course program ID and will give you that ID. If you're in my class, you will look on your syllabus and you will see where the bold face letters are. But your instructor should have it on your syllabus. And this is your course ID. So we would type that in. And remember, it's all caps and we have letters here. Okay, now what it would do when you type this in, it would ask you, is this your program? And it would give you the class. Now, if this is the correct class for your program, you would click Enroll. And now you're in the class. Now, let me explain something to you here. Uh, when you come here to take a test, you will click on Take a Test. You may get this pop-up blocker, but just click Continue. And if you notice, these tests are highlighted. These are the tests that you are supposed to take that your instructor told you to take. You will click on it, and then it will tell you, I am ready to start, and you can click here, and then start your test. Now, it says here that you must at least get 70% on your exam in order to consider it master. Now, I'm going to cancel that out and go back here. The next thing you have is your study plan. You will click on your study plan, and then you will go through the exercises. You must go on the quiz me in order to get credit. The practice, you get no, crack, no uh, credit with the practice. So you'll click on Quiz Me, and then it'll tell you how many questions you need, how many questions you have, and that you need at least 80% to master this. And then you'll click on I am ready to start to get started on it. Okay, I'm going to cancel that. Now, if you go through the Quiz Me and you don't do well, you have to come back and do the practice, and you would just need to do about five or six questions on the practice, and then you could redo the quiz me. But you must get these mastery points. When you successfully complete the quiz me, you will get one mastery point, and it keep going. And then also you could look up your results. And also uh, one other thing, you click on announcements here. When you scroll down here to the bottom, you notice there is a button here called videos. If you click on videos, it will take you to the videos for the, the uh, rapid review math class, which you're in. You will click on the video and it lines up perfectly with the course pack. And that is it.